Hi all. Uh, today in this session, we will check some more functionality on TMAP. Uh, over the last two sessions, we were checking uh, how the transformation can be done using TMAP. So we explored multiple functionalities. So basically TMAP is a very strong component which, has, which can do multiple operation. It can filter some column, it can filter some uh, it can filter some more uh, records. It can do some transformations and it has lot many uh, things that it can do. We will explore some more options that we have uh, in TMAP. We will just explore them. So let's go to detail. This is my existing job that we used uh, in the earlier session. So we will check some more option. What exactly is that? If I open this TMAP, let me open this particular TMAP component. So this is my source that is the employee uh, dimension table where we are fetching employee ID, first name, last name and department ID. And this is my first output. This is my second output. Okay. So here in the first output, what I have done, I have put this uh, employee ID equal to two. So only that employee ID equal to two record will get flown into this first output. Now, if my requirement is, suppose say only employee ID equal to two is going into this and whichever are not getting selected in this particular flow, I need to capture those results in another output. If that is what I want to check, so I have one more option. I can go to this TMAP setting. And I have this catch output reject. Currently, by default, it is false. I can make it true. Yeah. So what exactly? Uh, let me just repeat this. Now I have two output here, first output and the second output. So from the source, whichever record is coming, for the first output, I'm only filtering out employee ID equal to two. So only one record, how many records which has employee ID equal to two will go into this first output. Now, if I want to capture the results that are not getting pulled in this particular flow, I want to capture those results in a different uh, output. Then for that, I have this catch output reject equal to true. Now let me just change it to the default that is false. Let's show you, let me show you how exactly it works. Now I have made that output reject as false. So now you can see in the steel of row two, one record uh, went and total there are five records in my source and all those five records are going into the t log row three let's see the result as you can see i have already put a filter on employee id equal to two so the employee id equal to two record is flowing into this t log row two in t log row three all the employee id data is flowing here here the employee id two record is also flowing but what is my requirement my requirement is the record that is not flowing into this particular flow will be captured in different flow. So for that, what I'm doing, I'll just go to this TMAP. I will go to this uh, uh, under this setting in the second output where we want to capture the reset records. I can go to this uh, uh, TMAP setting. You can see there is a TMAP setting here. If I click on that, there is an option called catch output reject. By default, it is false. I will make it as true. Now let's save it. In the earlier run, you can see only one record went into this uh, T log row two. And in T log row three, all the records went here. Now my requirement is if one record comes here, those records that are not getting selected should go into this T log row three. That means only four records should flow into this T log row three. 
Now let's run this particular job. Now you can see one record is going here and the rest four records are going here. So now here one record is flowing that is uh, employee ID 2. Earlier I was getting employee ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 but now here I'm not getting employee ID 2 because it is capturing the reject record. Now, now suppose say I have one more flow. I'm connecting one more flow to this TMAP row, TMAP to this T log row. I'll make it as I'll make it as third output. So my first output is T log row two. The second output is T log row three, and my third output is T log row four. Now suppose. I want to put whatever the data is there in this T log uh, in the second output. I want on the entire transformation, everything will be same. I just want to copy that and to put it into third output. So how I can do that? Let me select all those uh, columns which are there in that second output. Drag them and drop it in third output. You can see once you come to this uh, uh, columns, third output, you can see a line is there, which states that you can drag, you, you are dragging five entities and inserting all selected entries here. So if you just leave it, it will come here. Now, now in this first section, I am saying that uh, I need a filter on employee ID equal to two. Now in my second filter, in the second flow, suppose say I want a filter on employee ID equal to three. Let me just drag this here. Equal to equal to three. So, and here I uh, is this is not my last one. So, if I want to, if there are multiple flows where I'm putting some filter and uh, now suppose say here there are three outputs for me. For first output, I am having some filter. For second output also, I'm having some filter. So if I want to capture the result in my last output where I want to capture that those records that are not getting passed in first output and second output, that should go to my third output. So in this case, what I'll do, I'll just go to this third output and make this output catch output reject as true. Normally what we do, the last output we capture it is, we consider uh, it is uh, to catch the output reject. So the first output has some filter Second output has some filter, so we should make it as a default one. It should not catch the output. And the third output will capture all the rejects that are getting rejected from first output and second output. So basically what it should do, first output should contain employee ID 2, second output should contain employee ID 3, and my third output should contain one, four and five employee ID because it is capturing the reject. Now let's run this. Now you can see here one record is flowing. Here one record is flowing that is employee ID two and here three records are flowing. Now let's see the result here. Let me just change this format to tabular format so that it is easy for us to understand. 
let me rerun it so here you can see t log row 2 employee id 2 is getting selected t log row 3 3 is getting selected and which all are not getting selected in 2 and 3 those are going to my reject and here i am capturing the reject that is 1 4 and 5 so this is the use of catch output reject from uh, functionality so in this section we in this session we uh, check how to capture the reject records which are not getting uh, uh, propagated to the output in earlier flows that is here you can see this is my first output this is a, my second output and those records are not flowing into first output and second output so those are getting captured in my third output i hope this session is uh, helpful for you if you think the session is uh, uh, informative then please like and share my video and subscribe my channel thank you